What is up, partners? And welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. Little time check for y'all. It is currently three o'clock in the morning. Not sure if you could see it down below in the title, but myself and all the boys got ourselves a charter boat today on Lake Superior. I'm gonna be kind of on a little meat mission today. That's kind of all I'm going for. I want to get some lake trout or some salmon or just basically anything and do some smoking on the Traeger with them. So yeah, that's what's happening in this episode. We're gonna be doing a little lake trout or salmon or brown catch and cook and it's gonna be a long one, but it's probably gonna be a fun one. Strap in y'all. Let's go. What's up my guy? What's up? Oh, it's a skunk. Dude, oh, that's a porcupine. Either way, skunk or porcupine. Look at that to Duluth. Well, actually, we're like two minutes away. We're just about to the big lake, but holy crap, I am dead. Pretty sure we're all pretty dead, but super excited. One more thing to y'all before I forget, we're actually heading out on our buddy Brody's charter. I'm gonna go ahead and leave all of his info down below if any of y'all are ever up here and want to uh, get in his boat. He's a super cool dude. You guys can hit him up. The Looper 2.0. Oh, fuck, yeah. How you doing, man? Pretty good, dude. I'm freaking stoked. What's up, man? I'm Reed. Yeah. Reed? Yeah. Reed? Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. I'm going to go on a whim and say one of the coolest things I've done in a while. Dude, this boat's huge. Anyway, stay tuned, y'all. I'm not going to vlog too much. We're going to get out there. I don't even know what we're going to be, like, how we're going to be fishing stuff. All downers, I'm guessing. Like, you know. All downriggers? All downriggers. Okay, okay. We got lines going out. About yep, to be a good day. A bunch of spoons. Yeah. Some on downriggers, some on lead guard. Sick. I like it. Yeah, this is really cool. Wow. I am on the top of the boat. I feel like I'm on the ocean right now. Stay tuned, y'all. I'm putting out all the lines. Should be hooked up shortly. There's fish inside rock. Oh, get him! Ready! First fish of the day. Hopefully we can keep her pinned. Called it. Yeah, I called that Oh yeah, dude, I see it. Oh yeah. We're about to box this little sucker up, watch it. He's gonna get the club. Oh, he's getting the club. Y'all 
can see, we are ribbing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen rods. Which is insane. Freaking a lot going on here. Wouldn't be a fish more vlog without a bathroom scene. Walk forward, like 10 feet. Yeah. Here we go. Double that, boys. Out of nowhere. That's a nice fish. Brock's got a better one. Brock's got a better one? Alright, one in the net. Let's go. I know why. It's been a little slow the past like hours, but out of nowhere. We are doubled up. And I think Brock has a good one. Definitely nicer. Nice one today so far. Good job, Brad. Let's go. Go, oh, boy. Oh, Unfortunately, y'all, we got some pretty gnarly storms coming in. Sounds like we're going to have to cut this trip a little bit short, but we got four awesome lake trout out of five. Yeah, we appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, Thanks for coming. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back. See you, buddy. Thanks for everything. Good times? Yeah. That was pretty badass, boys. Yeah. Stay tuned, y'all. I'm going to friggin' take a nap. I'm so dead. I'm going to sleep the whole way home. Shut up, guys. <laughs> One more time, y'all. I want to give the hugest shout out to the homie Brody for taking us all out on that badass boat today. Once again, he owns a charter here right in Duluth. If any of y'all are ever in the area and want to go out with some good dudes, you guys got to look them up. Uh, I'll leave all their stuff down below, but. Without further ado, we're going to head her back to the Fish Mart headquarters, clean up these fish, and then I don't know if we're going to smoke these things. We're probably not going to smoke them tonight. I'm too exhausted, so probably something we're going to do tomorrow or something. Stay tuned. Welcome back y'all! It is the next day and we are about to get the brine going for this lake trout. I kind of forgot that this is going to be like a two, three day video. It kind of always is every time I uh, like smoke fish or pretty much use the trigger. But yeah, we're about to make a brine and we have to let it sit for like 24 hours. So yeah, we're going to have to start the whole smoking process tomorrow. But before we get into making the brine, check this out y'all. We finally got the Fish and More Headquarters kitchen uh, remodeled. Er, just repainted, not remodeled. We are going to be doing some more stuff, hopefully. I really want to change this floor up. I want to put like some planking wood in here. But yeah, cupboards turned out really nice. Uh, maybe really quick, I'll pull up a little before and after picture. Back to the brine though, y'all. I was doing some Googling and talking to some people and like all the recipes I've found and like all the all the times I have smoked uh, trout or lake trout or salmon and all that, I've always just used like a brown sugar and salt brine. So we're gonna switch it up a little bit today and try something totally random and go with like a, like a spicy Cajun type thing maybe. Maybe not real spicy, but definitely like Cajun. All right, y'all, we got the lake trout all chunked up and looking pretty and dried off right here. Next, I got these two uh, containers that are both like 1.1 gallon each. I'm gonna fill up both of these with about a gallon of water. So I'm only filling these each about halfway actually, so probably only like a half a gallon, just because once I add these fish, it's probably gonna like overflow. Quarter cup of salt, quarter cup of salt. The next step, y'all, the Louisiana Cajun seasoning. And I really don't know how much of this to do, so I'm probably just gonna fill this quarter cup up like halfway, maybe. And hopefully that'll be enough and hopefully it won't be too much. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of minced onion. All right, get yourselves a spoon. Mix this around a little bit. And I really hope this is gonna be good. Pumped up trying this though. I like trying different stuff lately. Literally, every time I've ever smoked lake trout or any kind of trout, I've always just done the brown sugar approach. I wanna freaking spice it up a little bit today. Next y'all, I'm just gonna take our, our trouts, 
just start evenly putting them in each container. about it y'all i'm really hoping these things are going to be delicious we got to let them sit in the fridge for about 20 to 24 hours so yeah we will see you guys tomorrow uh around the same time welcome back y'all it is the next morning and we are officially ready to start smoking up these trout Let's see how these guys are looking really quick. Not looking too bad. Look pretty good. Stay tuned, y'all. Traeger's got to preheat for about 15, 20 minutes. Then, yeah, we're going to get these suckers on. Just got the notification on the phone, y'all. The, the old Traeger is all preheated. Let's go ahead and get these suckers on here, girl. Let's go ahead and even, evenly spread these out everywhere. And I'm thinking, uh, the internet says to start out uh, at 160. We're gonna let it rip for like two hours. And then after that, we're gonna bump it up 20 degrees every hour after that or something like that. And yeah, we're gonna be roasting these suckers for about six hours total. That's it for this one. Look at this big old saucy flay. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get this closed. And I'm going to wash my hands. We're going to get ourselves a timer set. And yeah, we'll probably talk to you guys in about two hours. We are back, y'all. The old Traeger app just went off. The... Kevin, you want to go outside? It has officially been two hours. It is sitting at 169 right now. And it, it's looking pretty good. It's just now starting to get that weird white stuff that's starting to leak out. So... We're gonna go ahead, close this, and we're going to turn it up 20 degrees. We're gonna turn it to 195. And yeah, we gotta let that rip again for another hour, turn it up another 20 for another hour, turn it up for 20 for another hour, and then hopefully it's gonna be pretty good by then. But anyways, y'all, I'm actually editing this video right now, so I think we're done with all the updates. We're just going to uh, talk to you guys once we're all done and whatnot. We are back really quick, y'all. Just so that, uh, these don't like go dry i'm gonna try something with half of them i made like a kind of spicy i mean it's like a teriyaki spice Whew, it's good but it is very spicy i'm gonna add a little bit of this to all of, or to half of these and just hopefully it won't get as dried out as i think they might do because usually when i smoke trout i usually do this with like like brown sugar and honey mixed together kind of forgot about that so yeah, that's why we're doing this. Welcome back, y'all! It has officially been six hours on the Traeger for the Lake Drought. And they are looking pretty good. A couple of these little ones maybe a little bit done, but these are done. Go ahead, shut this off. And I need to grab a plate or something. Get a quick close up on these guys. I hope they taste as good as they look. Because let me tell you, they're looking pretty good. They're pretty warm. I'm going to let them cool down for just five minutes and then we'll be right back and we're going to give the ultimate taste test. I really hope they're good. We are back, y'all. <laughs> Excuse the mess. I just got done cooking supper. It's officially time to try out this lake trout. Which piece am I going to go for? I think I'm going to go for this little half a chunk that I got here. Dang. It's definitely cooked. It's looking pretty good. Come on, camera. It's looking nice and white and flaky. All right, a moment of truth. Please be good. How is it sweet? It's bomb, but it's sweet. It's not, it's not spicy. What the heck? Try another piece.
It's like tastes like brown sugar almost, or it tastes sweet. A little bone action there. It's good. It's really good. Uh, it it almost tastes like the same as if you'd use brown sugar or something like that. Like there's no occasion at all. Maybe here that's a little lighter piece. Maybe let's try this little darker piece. Maybe there's some more seasoning on here or something. Same thing. Very nice and flaky. Let's see if this is a little spicier though. Mm, this piece is really good. But no. No spice. I'm speechless, kind of. You guys seen how much Cajun I put in there? Yeah. I'm honestly just happy that it's good and not like too much seasoning or too little seasoning. It's honestly perfect. It's delicious. I'm about to, uh... I'm probably going to keep these big guys right here, and then I'm going to bag up the rest of these for the boys. Because they actually forgot all the fish in the back of the car when we came home two days ago. So I just ended up with all of them. So I'm going to vacuum seal up some and surprise them each with like a two pieces or something. Anyways, y'all, I think we're going to end this video here. Quite the long one. This is a freaking three-day video of filming. One more time, y'all, I want to give a huge shout out to the homie Brody. Uh, if any of y'all are ever in the Duluth area and want to get out on the big lake, you guys have to hit him up. Super cool dude, and he'll put you on some awesome fish. And honestly, I was just so stoked to be out there. Like, the fishing was just a bonus. It's just dope being out on that lake. It feels like you're on the ocean or something. But anyways, y'all, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could, like it, share it, smash that subscribe button. Do me a favor, comment something, comment anything, just to help us out with that algorithm. We've actually been crushing it lately. You guys have been crushing it. The support lately has just been badass. I freaking appreciate the shit out of each and every one of you guys. But yeah, I think that's it, y'all. Kevin, you want to say goodbye? Huh? Kevin, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Yeah. Bye, guys. Wop!